let's turn from where the yokels grow and as you can see we're standing out here in the backyard and that's because in today's video we are going to be starting fall flower seeds it's hard to believe that we're talking on june 9th and we're talking about planting our fall flowers but for those of you who don't know me that well and for those of you who do know that fall planting season is my favorite time of the year i absolutely love all of the fall colors the fall flowers and it goes from the inside of the house to the outside of the house so we got to get these flowers started because some of them take about 120 days and we want them ready by the end of september so let me tell you what i'm planting oh if you're new here welcome and if you're returning i am so glad to see you again let's get growing y'all Okay, so let me tell you what I'm planting. Um, the colors for the gardens this year for fall are black, purple, purple and orange, and white. And so we've got a lot of flowers here that we're gonna be starting in a cup, one unique one that I've never grown before, but I'm gonna give it a shot <laughs> anyway. So the first one we're gonna be growing is black pansies. That's gonna give us our black, and then I'll probably buy some purple grasses to go with it. Our orange and purple, these are called Joker Jolly Pansies. And then we have purple violas that we're going to be starting. You can't see a picture of this, but these are called Frizzle Sizzle Orange Pansies. And then of course I've got some seeds that I saved from my giant, well they're not called giant, but they're the larger big top uh, marigolds. So we got some of those seeds that we're gonna do. And then this is a brand new one for me and very unique and it is called pumpkin on a stick. And I'm excited to get some of these for our flower arrangements and maybe some centerpieces and some of my, and some of my flower um, arrangements out in my pots. So let's get growing y'all. Okay, first let me show you what I'm working with. I have some new trays. So they are 70 cell trays, pretty good and sturdy. They came with a little seed hole puncher and then this little fork and spoon that helps you get it out once it's there or once it's time to plant they all come with their own underwater trays and then they also all come with their own lids with ventilation we're going to plant these up and then the soil of course that i'm using because it's the soil i use every time when i start my seeds is the coast of maine's is the coast of maine's organic seed starter. It comes with worm castings, lobster meal, kelp meal, and fully cured compost inside of the bag. So that'll set those up probably for a good month, month and a half. And then as the time goes on, I will be underwatering and using um, the all-purpose kelp fertilizer. something I said just a minute ago about the soil about normally I set it up and I I put water in the underwatering tray and then let it soak up for a couple hours before I plant seeds but honestly this mix was pretty moist I hate that word but it was pretty moist and so I don't want to overwater my seeds so we are just going to plant the seeds half of this tray is going to be the pumpkin on a stick and the other half is going to be the giant
there you have it. They're done. So let me know down in the comments. Are you planting anything already for fall flowers? Are you making plans to plant anything? Let me know what you're planting this year. I, as you saw, I ran out of seeds. I thought I had more seeds in each one of those packets. So I'll have to um, buy some more seeds. And all the seeds I actually got on Amazon. So I will try and link those down in the description for you as well as these planters. I got them on Amazon and I will link those down in the description for you as well. And I would love to hear from you all to find out what you're planning this fall. I know it's crazy to start thinking about it, but if you're someone who is trying to cut costs on flowers with all the high prices, starting your own flowers is a way to go. Um, I've only been starting flowers. I, this was my first year to do zinnias. I've always started some flowers and marigolds. But last year was my first year to do pansies for the fall and of course this will be my next year. Last year I started them too late so I am starting them a month earlier than what I did because I didn't realize that pansies took 120 days from seed to plant. So I just want to thank you all for hanging out with me today in this video. Did you all see that shadow? That was a giant <laughs> swallowtail. <laughs> Uh, one of these days I'm gonna catch them on camera. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I surely appreciate it. And sometimes these videos can be kind of long and I know that your time is precious. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button because new videos are posted often and I would hate for you to miss anything. Until I see you in the next video, you all keep growing. You keep your heads up and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.